Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Sam and this is my wonderful co-host Phil and together we are Bars and Barbells and today we have Prince on the agenda today. Our second track from Prince. Our first one was Purple Rain. Yes. And I want to say thank you guys for not going too ham in those comments because uh, you guys kept it mostly respectful. There were a few in there, but there's always going to be there's a few. There's always a few. There's always a few trolls on, <laughs> on social media. So, uh, But for the most part, you guys were very respectful, and we really appreciate that in this community because we like to have you know different experiences of music that we've never had in our life before, and Prince was one of those people that we were yeah. unfamiliar with. I mean, Sam has a little more of familiarity than I do. but yeah. um, We like to be authentic, too, right? We don't want to sit here and tell you guys that we absolutely love everything if we don't because and then why would you want to watch a reaction that's not genuine yeah and the last song that we did wasn't bad by no. any means it was a good ballad it yeah. was you know something that i appreciated from uh, you know a generalized music standpoint but the fact is that we went into that not knowing much about prince that was our first track that we had heard from prince mm -hmm. and we were like wow this wasn't the prince that we were expecting yeah we were right? just expecting something a little bit more vibrant and more energy yeah because that's what we've heard about prince right yes. is you know he's a very a vibrant character yes. so uh Pur purple rain was very very different than that yeah. and um you know actually i've uh, to be honest I, after i listened to that song a few more times it did grow on me quite a bit um it you know the it was super catchy you know because after I, I have to edit it and stuff right so <laughs> listening to it as i'm editing and i'm like okay yeah i can see why a lot of people really do like a little this. bit yeah. yeah i think it's just not what we were expecting and it, that caught yeah. us off guard yeah 100 yeah. percent. i you know i because uh, there were there's been a lot of artists that have blown us away on the channel right and so you hear prince's name a lot right in music history right and the folklore of of you know who people love prince is one of those people mm -hmm. and he's clearly a very talented guy from we mentioned this in the last one the songwriting capabilities mm -hmm. instruments he, he could play like a bunch of instruments yeah maybe. i'm i was surprised to learn that he can play the drums even right mm -hmm. he plays electric guitar we saw that in the last one mm -hmm. which that was a fire guitar solo as well i really did like that guitar solo so anyways um you guys were recommending that we get into a little red corvette and that mm -hmm. might be more indicative of what we were expecting yeah from a little higher energy and a little more character from him and um you know it's hard to pick you know a place to start right and yeah, that's what we did with where. purple rain that's what you guys were saying as well you were know, like it's probably not the best song to, to start your journey with so we're going with your advice and we always appreciate the advice guys those comments are so so great they've helped yeah, us out so helpful so much over our journey so thank you for the support the likes the comments the subscriptions the notification bell is your friend but the other stuff is our friend, the likes, the comments, and the subscriptions. We really appreciate that. So yes. um, if you want to do that on this video, we appreciate it as well. You can always count on authentic reactions from us. But um, you don't, do you know this one, Sam? I don't know. We'll have to wait and see. All right. I feel like there's some like Prince music that I hear, and then I'm like, oh, yeah, I know this. I've heard it around. And there's some that I'm like, I've never heard. Because I had mentioned just a moment ago that you are a little more familiar than me. This yeah. will definitely be a first-time reaction for me. You, like you're saying, might catch a whim of something like a chorus yeah, or something like, like that. i had heard about purple rain but when we did purple rain i didn't recognize the song but then i've seen like live not personally sat and watched but i remember like just catching glimpses of like live performances and stuff and being like oh that song that's from him yeah. and i like for didn't know that it was his but i knew the song okay well so. i think what we're gonna do because we've been yapping a little bit longer than normal in this one is that we're gonna play the whole thing through Normally, we like to stop in the middle and discuss a little bit, but it's only a three-minute song. So let's play the whole way through, and then we'll discuss at the end. You ready to check it out? Let's do it. Let's go. Where your forces run free. So I 
felt a little ill When I saw all the pictures Of the jockeys that were living for me Believe it or not I started to worry I wondered if I had enough class But it was Saturday night So did you know this one, Sam? I definitely recognize the chorus in this. Like that main, like little red Corvette. Little too, red Corvette. Yeah. yeah. Like that part. And then like you're too much too fast. But the more storytelling pieces like in the middle, I, I didn't really recognize those. Mm. But I also just find it hilarious how he's basically out like talking about a car, but then also obviously referring to a woman. Yeah. Yeah. He's, he's uh, relationship or a car. You can yes. place it in either situation. Yeah. Gotcha. Yeah. And he's using lots of, uh, horse and intimacy references there <laughs> horse and intimacy references. yeah jockeys and <laughs> racing and wild horses and trojans and <laughs> <laughs> yeah i think um obviously there's a lot of uh sexual innu- innuendo yes. to this one um and that plays off of the, some of the visual i think that's more of what i would have envisioned from prince yes. from what i've heard definitely more energy in this one for sure Just yeah splits on the ground yeah i would say though like it's interesting because i was i was again expecting a little bit different because when people were saying there was going to be a lot of energy to this one mm-hmm. i was like this is still a ballad to me yeah like this is still like it's a pop ballad and uh, you know so i was again i was envisioning something a little bit different from mm-hmm. what it was going to be because it's still got a lot of soul to it in this, yes. right? And so I don't know if maybe that's just indicative of Prince. Like, I don't know anything about Prince, so I'm just yeah. getting to know him. I do, like, b- think this is a fantastic composition and a great song. Mm-hmm. So, like, this is definitely more of what I was anticipating from Prince when I'm hearing about how he great he is. Because the way this is put together, in that, you know, it's still got this kind of poetic ballad feel to it. It's it's great in the pop aspect and the popularity. Yeah, of- super catchy. Yeah, of the hook in general. That, I don't know where I've heard it before, that little red Corvette portion. Honestly, I feel like it was in a commercial or something, just yeah, that little maybe. little uh, splice there. But the rest of it, I had no idea. I'd never heard anything. Um, but I really, really loved the use of the electric guitar throughout. Mm-hmm. It was not like really prominent at the front of the mix, but it was like really adding these great peaks and valleys in the song and, mm-hmm. and providing the jolts of energy. So I wouldn't say it was like overall like energetic throughout. It was kind of this peak and valley through the whole song that kept you and kept you engaged which is what I did like about the composition. Mm -hmm. And um, they use like a nice, they had a nice uh, switch up between the main, his main vocal and some of the background vocals and playing off of that and the spacing. Yeah, that guy Um, with his like cool little headband. Yeah, and I also (laughs) don't know, like I assume it was him playing the guitar, knowing that he's an instrumentalist. Yeah, like from the recording. Yeah, because we just saw him on the microphone, you know, performing this one, right? But I assume that he's probably doing all this in the studio version, but you guys can let us know. Uh, But I did really like that sound and, uh, you know, I think it was, it was just, 
really, really well put together in this one. And like you said, the messaging behind it, it's a little red Corvette. And so you could play it and it not come off as too aggressive. Yeah. I feel but, like unless you're like really listening to the things, like you said, like those little analogies yeah. in there, like you, then you're kind of like, Oh, well, this, that could, that's what's what I mean. It could play on the radio and yeah. be fine. Yeah. <laughs> and nobody's going to have a major problem that's with why. it. Yeah. But if you listen to it deeply, you're like, dude, like relax, slow down. Like you're going a little too fast with your little red Corvette. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, for sure. And I think it's like a super fun and like playful song too. Like just, obviously the lyrics but the way that he delivers the lyrics and his vocals along with just like the melody of the song and stuff like it's a super like fun like kind of upbeat playful song which i like and i feel like that's very different than what we did with purple rain right yeah so it's nice to kind of see the other side of that i was surprised to hear i feel like a little bit of synthesizer use in, in this one as well because knowing that he plays so much um but it does add that pop vibe to yeah, it a little yeah, bit more. Yeah, that like dancey kind of pop. Yeah, and the other thing I did notice that I liked too was the use of transitions with his vocal. So like in and out of the chorus in particular, mm -hmm. the way he kind of add this, added this ad lib to like jump into the chorus mm -hmm. and jump out of it. Yeah. It, it was added like a seamless flow to the composition. So um, I definitely appreciate his artistry much more from seeing this one so it was yeah. a good suggestion guys yeah i really like this one i was like jamming out in my chair you guys probably saw me so and it was short and sweet right mm -hmm. it got to the point of of you know like i said being a radio hit i think um i don't know how popular this is in his repertoire and his catalog you guys can let us know if this is one of his like really really popular songs yeah. or if this was just something you guys were recommending because it would be good for you know, you uh, and I to listen to. Yeah, that was a switch up from what we did last time. Right, because um, you got to start your journey somewhere. Yeah. So I think he has a pretty vast catalog as well. Yeah. Maybe you'll see me dance around the house, little red Corvette. <laughs> I mean, I wouldn't be surprised if it was in a car commercial. Yeah. Right. I mean, yeah. You know, that would make sense that you would use it in a car commercial. For right? a Corvette. Well, yeah. I mean, Corvette in particular, but. Um, and maybe even like an oil commercial or yeah. something like that you could use it yeah, in. So sure. anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed our reaction. Anything you want to add, Sam? No, I really liked it. And I would enjoy seeing more of like this kind of vibe. So if you guys have suggestions for more stuff like this. Yeah, I enjoyed it as well. So make sure you hit that like button. If you enjoyed our reaction, you can leave us a comment and give us some insights. We always appreciate those, like I said. And uh, thank you again for keeping those comments PG in the last one. Please do so on this one as well. We give you authentic reactions because we enjoy what we do and we like checking out new music and uh, we get really into it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed that. So uh, hit the subscribe button if you haven't done so already. Make sure you hit the notification bell because YouTube does forget to let you guys know when we drop videos sometimes. Yes. And other than that, we'll see you tomorrow with two, two more videos. Thanks for watching, guys, and we'll see you in the next one.